Here are some tricks and Mac notes that most people don't know about. What are they? I'm gonna show you. Welcome back to the channel. So what I wanna to do today is I'm gonna show you a bunch of tricks that most people don't know about that are built into Mac Notes. It's not gonna be a tutorial on how to use Mac Notes or anything like that, but I'm gonna show you tips and tricks and exactly things that people have no idea about a lot of times that are built into Mac Notes that really help you get things done. So I'm just gonna go through them, there's a bunch here. I'm guessing you don't know all these, I'm almost positive you don't, so watch them and let me know at the end of the video if you knew these or you didn't, but I'm guessing you won't. I'm gonna share my screen here, so let's get into it. All right, number one is gonna be, how do you change or change the color of text inside of notes or change the font to specific font? Now let's look at my screen over here. And one thing you'll notice right off the bat, here's a note, it's opened up to just a note. If I highlight something, you know that you can go up here to this little AA and click on it. And it's gonna give you some different options of italics, bolding it, different headings you can change it to, but not a lot of different options there, right? You can't change to specific fonts, you can't change the colors. So what I recommend doing, it's really, really easy. So go into the notes over here, you highlight the block of text that you actually want to go ahead and change it on your keyboard you click command and T so command T just like that if you notice when you click that this font window comes up down here now what you can do is keep this highlighted you can click on this box right here you can go down here and you can click on the color wheel you can change things to different colors let me just change it to that color just like that and then I can go ahead and click off of that I can also go ahead and change the actual fonts that I want to use to specific fonts down here you can see how they changed and I can change the size a lot easier to any specific size, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. So now on my notes, look at that. Now I have a pink note that's a lot larger with a different font, and a lot of people didn't know how to do that before. That's number one. All right, tip number two. So let me go, go to my screen. I'm just gonna show you, this is easier to show you. So if I go ahead and open up a folder that has some images in it, you can see these images. Well, this is just, this is a file, but this is an image here. You can actually, everyone knows this first part, so this is not the tip, but you can drag an image into a note like that and paste it right in, now that image is in the note, right? Everyone, I think, knows that. But over here, if you click on the image, you'll see that there's kind of this little drop-down box in the upper right-hand corner over here. If you click on that and you click Markup, watch what happens. So now what's gonna happen is this, this image is gonna come up, but there's gonna give you a couple different options up here. You can have a pen or circles or whatever, but it, I'm just gonna use the pen it gave me right off the bat. But now I can mark this up. I can draw arrows in. Let's just say this was a map. I could write things in here. I can do whatever I want, and then I can just, you know, it obviously fixed the arrow for me, but I can put text in. There's a text thing here. All different types of things you can do, but it's really just marking things up the way you want them to be marked up. Then you can go ahead and just drag this thing around as you need it. Then when you're done, you just click done, just right there. And you'll notice now it's in the image embedded in that image. So now that image has that in it, and it's in the note. Obviously, if you want to get rid of this, you just highlight it and click delete, and then the image is gone. But that's kind of how you mark up images in a note. A lot of people didn't know you could do that. All right, so for tip number three, I'm just gonna show you as well because it's a lot easier to show you. So let's just say over here, you know on a note, you can go up here to the search bar, you can search all your notes in that little search bar up there if you're finding, trying to find something. But you can also create like labels or I guess you call them hashtags for your notes as well. So look at, here's the note here. If I put the number sign in and then I just put, let's just say put test here and I click enter, what's gonna happen is it's gonna, over here you're gonna see it that it added this tags. Um, and sometimes this tags can be hidden just like that, but if it's not, it'll say test. Now if I click on that test, over here, any note that has that kind of hashtag test or the number sign test will show up. It's going to basically sort by that. So at the end of all your notes, you could put stuff like, you know, you know, finance or whatever you want to do. And, and then obviously then you click on this and all your notes about finance would come up and you wouldn't have to really search for specific words. So you can kind of label them at the bottom or the top of the note or wherever you want to. But that's a tip a lot of people don't know about because it doesn't show up unless you actually add it. So let me know if you guys knew about that one. All right, this, this next one's kind of weird, so stay with me, and let's go to my screen here, another tip here. So let's just say notes aren't even open. I don't even have them open, but you want to do a really, really quick note. What you can do is you can click the FN key, it's way on the bottom left-hand corner, and then Q. And as soon as you do that, it says new note. See that? It popped up, but it doesn't even open up notes. Not, I mean, it, it kind of does, but it just gives you a quick note. And you can do, go in here and put quick test note number one. Oops. That was probably not the best. Number one right there. And then just go like that, right? And then you can go ahead and shut this down. So now what happens, if you actually do go into notes and you go, let's just go ahead and reopen it here. You're gonna notice that it added this, this, this quick note up here, right here. So 
it, it adds another category above here, which say quick notes, and all your quick notes will go up in this category. This wasn't here before, this kind of folder up here, and you'll see it here. So you can go ahead and do those quick notes. It'll keep adding them into this quick note folder, but then what you can do is you come over here to this section where you have it, and you can drag this like this into, let's just say, testing folder, just like that. And now it's in the testing folder, and uh, if we go to testing folder, you know, obviously there's the quick note in there now. So it, it removed it from up here because we don't have any more quick notes, but now it moved it to this folder. And that's really all you have to know about is just kind of moving things in, into the quick notes once you do quick notes, because you don't want them just sitting there all the time. You want to kind of file them away. Um, beyond that, I think that's really what that thing is, is it's just called quick notes. A lot of people don't even know about it. Again, it's the FNQ when you're not even in notes, and you can type a quick note, shut it down, and then it adds it to that quick notes, and then you can file it away later. All right, for the next one, let me just show you my screen again. It's easier to show you all these. So let's just say you're going to a very weird website. I'm just going to use Google because it's just obviously basic, but it, let's just say you had a website you want to remember and you want to put it to a note. All you got to do is if you highlight this like this, um, you don't even really need to highlight it, but just select it where this little icon is right here and you drag it like this. You can drag that link right into the note. See that? And now that, that link will be right in the note just like this so that if you do click on it later, it'll actually open up that website. So you can add these notes, you know, you can add the links in like this and they're going to create these little boxes like this if you want a different notes and it's going to give a little description of what it is. So it's a good way to add links. You just drag that kind of URL from the beginning, not, not the whole thing, but just from the beginning of it into here, and then it adds it to the note. Again, you can do the same thing over here. This is kind of the same thing, but if I open up another folder, you can do, this is a, actually a pages file, so obviously it's, you know, it's made from pages. You can go ahead and click on this and drag it in as well. It's gonna now create a, it's gonna put that pages document in there. It's not gonna put the whole document, show the whole document, but if, it, if you click on it later and it's on the same computer, it'll open that up later so it's a good way to kind of keep track of that pages document inside of a note like here is where I'm storing all this stuff in pages and then put the link in like that and then there you go all right, for the next one, let me just show you over here. So as you, I think you, everyone knows this, but there's a couple cool things I wanna show you about this. So if you go in here and you have like a new line in a note, what you wanna do is you wanna click on this AA up here, and let's say you wanna create a list. I'm just gonna create a bolted list here. So I'm just gonna go one and then enter. See how it's creating that list? That's not too, you know, obviously anyone can do that. That's pretty easy. But if you go four, right, and you want this to be kind of a subcategory or a sub list, you basically just hit tab here and you'll see that it moved it over here. So again, if I want two to be a sub of one, I click tab like that and it basically moves it out so that now you have this hierarchy. And if you made a mistake on it, you can hit shift tab and it'll actually move it back. So you can see that how shift tab moves it back and then the tab moves it so it kind of creates that hierarchy for you. And that's a kind of a cool tip there that a lot of people didn't know about. And then finally, the last tip, I think a lot of people know about this, but if you have this extravagant, you know, note in here with all those images and everything, and you don't want to send it to somebody like in Windows because it's almost impossible, you know, one way you can do it is a couple things. You can go up here and you can share it. So there's a way to share it up here. You can send it as a link um, where only those people can view it, but they can't change it. That's one way to do it. Or you can just go over here to notes and you can go to file and you can go to export as a PDF right there. It's going to export the whole entire thing as a PDF document so that you can send it to people that use Windows and other things. You don't have to, you know, obviously this is, they don't have notes on their system, but they can get it through a PDF or you can share it. So that's my last note on this and we'll wrap this up. So what do you think? In the comments, let me know. Did you know every single one of these? I'm guessing most people didn't. At least there had to be one or two you didn't know about, right? So these are things that when you open up notes and you start fooling around with them, you kind of see, hey, how can I change text color? How can I make my fonts different? This is kind of limited. And I don't know why they did that. I just don't know why. But in the end of the day, there's a ways to get around it, which I just showed you. And there's also things you can do with dragging files and links and everything else. And just knowing how to use it kind of makes it more powerful. It's not the most powerful app, but it's great to use because it's cost, you know, you can go to your iPhone instantly or your other Macs and stuff. So you want to learn notes instantly, but you also want to know these features because it just helps you use it. It makes it more useful for me. So let me know what you think. Is this useful or not? Do you guys like these videos? So please subscribe to my channel if you can. It's going to help me out for sure. I want to try to get, you know, I have 10,000 subs right now and it's growing. I want to try to get to 20,000 hopefully before a couple years. So subscribe if you can. Help me out. I'll make more like this. But I do a ton of technology videos, mostly Apple, but I do it on some PC, some Chromebook. And then I also do a ton of like technologies like hubs and all the switching and stuff. So you let me know. Put comments. What, what do you want to see about the Mac and stuff? And I'll try to create stuff. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.